And welcome into the ballpark. Happy to have you with us. We've got baseball on the show. It's the Los Angeles Dodgers taking on the St. Louis Cardinals. First pitch coming your way next. So just about set now and towing the slab here Jojo Romero. Well he tried to make it through the fifth inning last time out but the pitch count just got too high. He ended up taking the loss. That's one of those you just have to shake it off come back out today and try to throw a gym. And now here is Freddie Freeman. And a pitch. Swing and a miss. And we're underway from St. Louis. Into left center for a base hit. Around first and hustling for second. And it's a double to start the game. He's been swinging it really well lately. Showed a willingness to drive that pitch the opposite way. Didn't get jumpy, didn't try to pull the ball. He let it get deep, took the barrel right to it, and then extended through the swing for the line drive base hit. Here's Shohei Otani. Homered last night, added another hit as well. And there's a rocket into the outfield. And they get it in quickly. First and third now with nobody out. Everything came together for him. Really good swing right there. He got a pitch that he knew he could handle, allowed himself to stay back just a tad bit longer, and he hit the ball on the screws. Here's Mookie now, fourth on the National League RBI leaderboard. Double play ball to second. There's one. They complete the double play, but the run scores. It's 1-0. First and third, nobody out. You're thinking you've got it lined up for a pretty big inning right here. So that double play is pretty deflating. They get the run in, but now they're starting all over. Here's Max Muncy, that funky Muncy. Swings through that one. 0 oh, and 1. Two down, nobody on. Gets a piece there, we'll do it again. The 0-2. Ripped on the ground a second, slings to first. They get the out on Muncie. Third out, and that ends the frame. But they push across one run on two base hits. No errors, no one left. On to the bottom of the first. It's the Dodgers one. Back here at the ballpark, and today's starting pitcher, Shohei Otani. Chris, his strikeout rate this year among the best all time. He's truly one of the elite strikeout pitchers in the league. I mean, strikeouts per nine off the chart. So the opposing team, they know they have their work cut out for them anytime they're facing this guy or a guy like this that's going to get the swings and misses. Pretty much in a class of his own when it comes to that category. Here's Tyler O'Neill. Ground ball, Freddie Freeman. He handles it himself. One gone, bottom half of the first. Mason Wynn next up for the Cardinals. And a foul ball. Otani, the former rookie of the year, he features a slider, a four-seamer, a splitter, a cutter, and he occasionally uses a curve. Swings and misses. And the count, one and two. This one lifted in the air, left field, coming on as Taylor. No trouble here, puts it away for the out. And there's two away. Here's Paul Goldschmidt. And that's a base hit. Just kind of sliced that one into center. 
right there. He does a great job of staying in the big part of the field. Man, there are a lot of hits there. So two down and stepping in for the Cardinals, Lars Newtbar. Hitless and four at bats yesterday. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. Goldie leads off first with two down to the inning. Oh, and two as he waves at that one. From a pitcher's perspective, that's a beautiful splitter right there. As a hitter, you don't like it, but he's commanded his fastball. And out of a swing and a miss. That retires the side, and that'll do it. So one left for the Cardinals. They trail here, one nothing. Back here in St. Louis, Glaber Torres up to hit. Romero back to work. And there's a fly ball, deep right field. That one back. And gone! Home run number five on the season, and they tack one on the board. It's 2-0. There was a sinker up in the zone. It looked like it came out of the pitcher's hand a little bit too early. Doesn't have the velocity that that good four-seam fastball does. And at the plate, he didn't miss it. James Outman steps to the plate for the Dodgers. And the first pitch misses for ball one. But he's just got to delete it. You give up that leadoff home run, go back to work, focus on this next batter. Good eye right there. Always exciting to see a leadoff home run in an inning. Kind of gets the offense fired up, and you start to expect a big inning. Eric Summersgill, our plate umpire. One thing to watch out for, Boog, is what side of the plate Summersgill might be favoring. He usually sets up at an angle. Pitchers sometimes will try to figure that out early so they can attack that spot and get as many strike calls as possible. Man at first, and now the catcher comes up to him. Will Smith. He swings and hits a fly ball, center field. O'Neill makes the play, and there's one down. And now it's Ahmed Rosario. That's off the mark, and that is ball one. This is one of those situations defensively where you can't try to do too much. You've got to make sure that you feel the ball cleanly and get one out first. It's going to be tough to get two with this kind of speed in the batter's box. Makes the catch for the out. Chris Taylor now. In there, and it's 0-1. Well, if he's going to steal second, you want him to go early in the count. That way he's not a distraction to the hitter at the plate. Go ahead and get it out of the way so the hitter can focus on the pitch. Rudder takes off. Throw to second. Great jump. Two outs is a great time to try to steal second, especially when you have a guy with some wheels on first. Defense probably knew it was coming, but figured we better focus on trying to get this hitter out. Got him. Good job at damage control right there. Dodgers add one to their lead on the solo homer. It's now a 2-0 ball game. Major League Baseball is on the show. Back in St. Louis as the Cardinals come up to hit here in the last of the second. We head to the bottom of the second, and now it's Juan Yepes. Yeah. That clips the corner. Swing and a ground ball up the middle. That's a base hit.
Well, the last 10 games or so have been anything but fun at the plate for him, so that one has to feel good. Just kept it simple, played Pepper with the middle of the infield and took it back where it came from, and there's just no one there to knock it down. And first offering is fouled off. And here it comes. Foul ball. Swing and a miss. Couldn't catch up to the heater. Well, take a look at the three pitch sequence here. Pretty simple in terms of putting them away at the plate. Once you're ahead 0 2 as a pitcher, you can really expand the zone and see how aggressive that hitter is going to be trying to protect and battle. And right there, clearly he was in swing mode, but all you can do is hope to foul that off. This to center field, and it drops in. So one out with two aboard. Now up for St. Louis, Richie Palacios. Put that 600 slugging into context. The league average usually in the low 400s. One for three back on Wednesday. Runners at first and second with one gone. At the dish, looking to lift the ball in the air in this spot. Anything but the inning, inning double play, Boog. In the dirt, blocked. No advance, good job behind the dish. Oh and two now fights it off. You'll see another the O2 swing and a miss at the splitter and it's a strikeout just beautiful placement of the splitter right there exactly where you want it with two strikes to get that swing and miss and he's worked very hard to be able to command that pitch. It's a tough pitch to get a grip on but he's one of the best at throwing it where he wants to. And up next for St. Louis, Irving Lopez. Homered in the ball game yesterday afternoon. On the ground, Rosario. Fires over to first. Out number three. So the cards strand a couple, and they're down 2 nothing. New inning getting started, and here's the first baseman, Freddie Freeman. Romero back to work. Ball one, no strikes. Romero goes five feet, 11 inches, 200 pounds, and he was drafted in the fourth round back in 2016. Line drive, base hit. Wasting no time. He's two for two now on the night and just a triple and home run away from the cycle seriously we're starting with this already Shohei Otani up to the dish one for one with a single so far drill to center that's way back and you can't forget it home run is 14th of the year and they throw a pair on the board it's four nothing Guy's got a real hard fastball. You can't overswing. All you've got to do is get the bat head to the spot. If you do, he supplies the power, and you'll get to jog around the bases like he did right there. Here's Mookie now. Outfield playing very deep, not wanting anything over their heads. Line drive to short and caught. Nice swing and good solid contact. That ball was smoke, but needed a little more lift to get into the outfield gap. Maybe a little more backspin. And now it's Max Muncy. 0 for 1. He grounded out in his first at bat. And that one hammered. O'Neill going back on it. Back some more. And that one's gone. The Rockets one to right, and they tack on to their lead. It's five zip. He's 
nightmares about that pitch. Perfect execution. It's not supposed to produce that result. He got hurt by a really good one there, but even a better swing at the plate. Glaber Torres up to the plate. Swings and chases a low oh, one there. Torres, multi-time All-Star, hitting fifth in today's lineup. And he's been touching home plate quite a bit lately, scoring eight runs. Oh, now this one's high and deep. Way back there. On its way. Gone. A soaring shot to center. His second home run of the game. It's 6-0. Two pitches, two swings, that one for a home run. Looking to be aggressive all the way, and it paid off for him in a big way. Back-to-back -back homers, always a special feeling at the ballpark, especially if it's your team that does it, and those guys get to slap hands at home plate. This is the kind of thing that can really fire up a ball club. Here's Oliver Marmol towards the mound. New arm of the mound for the Cardinals, Jake Woodford. He doesn't get a lot of strikeouts compared to other relievers, so he relies on getting that soft contact and the defense doing work behind him. They'll have to be on their toes with him on the bump. Puts the squeeze on that one, two away. Two outs, base is empty. And here's the catcher, Will Smith. Swings and misses. 0-1-1. Oh, one, one. Movement to the bullpen for the Cardinals. Matthew Librator, the left-handed reliever, appears to be getting loose. Now a move being made for a pinch hitter, Austin Barnes. Swing and a ball popped up. That one gets down for a hit. Joey gets on base and keeps it going. So a man aboard and at the plate for the Dodgers, Ahmed Rosario. Palacios on to first. That's the third out. They get staying in the game on defense, Austin Barnes. He takes over behind the plate to do the catching after entering the game as a pinch hitter. And the pitch. O'Neal in the box now. No balls and a strike. This is one of those times when you want to be aggressive. Go ahead and pitch to contact. Let the defense work behind you. You've got a nice, comfortable lead. Don't try to be too fine. Well, every pitcher wants run support, and having a lead is nice, but it can be challenging for some guys. I think keeping the mindset to attack instead of trying to be too fine and have too much finesse, go after hitters and get quick outs. Some heat there at 98 miles an hour. So up next, Mason Wynn. 0 oh for 1 with a fly out. Swing and a miss. That's strike one. Win in his rookie season, just 21 years old. And he was a second round pick in 2020. One down, base is empty. And a count one and two. Riding to the plate. Keeps the at bat going with a foul ball. And down on strikes. Back-to-back -back strikeouts. Tasked with one, two, and three to start this inning, but no trouble so far. I'm sure he'd love to strike out the side here. Make a little statement, but you got to be composed in this spot. Focus on getting this next guy. You got two good outs. Want to get the third one and avoid the middle of that lineup coming up with a base runner. Could become dangerous. Goldie, the next to hit, takes ball one. Swing and a miss. And a count one and one. When you throw a fastball by a guy like that, I imagine it's got to feel incredible. Look for him to throw it again at some point. Strike two. Clearly, he was sitting on a fastball right there. It just ended up out in front of the slider. Hey, you can't fault him for his commitment. Now he's just going to have to battle with two strikes. Battling here as he fouls it away. The pitch. That one missed. Really good take, especially with two strikes.
eighth pitch of the at bat coming up. Bounce to the right side. Torres to first. And they get Goldschmidt for the out. And that'll do it. Nothing doing there for St. Louis. They still find themselves down. Six zip. And welcome back. Leading off, Chris Taylor. The wind of the pitch. And that one wrapped foul. You know, these Dodgers putting together some really good at-bats in this game. There's been a lot to like with how they're approaching their chances at the plate. They were obviously able to run the starter out of the game in the third, so they've set the table for a win, and now I'm sure they're thinking it's time to feast. Line drive, and it's caught for the out. So if they're looking to feast, are you saying they've already got a plate but are looking to go back for seconds? <laughs> Yeah, I'd say something like that. And there's a hit. So a man aboard now with one away. One gone runner at first. And up next for Los Angeles, Shohei Otani. Swinging a foul back. That's out of play. Freeman stands at first with one out. Hit well, right field, way back, and gone. He made him pay for that one. He's done it again. His second homer of the game. It's 8 nothing. Part of the play requires a hitter to stay really square with his mechanics. If you fly open with the front shoulder, there's no fair. An outstanding job mechanically. He deserves that home run. Now it's Mookie Betts. Line drive. That's a base hit out of the left center field. Makes the turn and heads for second. Win with a relay throw. Not in time. He's got a double. Man, those are the types of hits where you don't feel any vibration in your hands whatsoever. Such a good feeling. Loud contact leads to the double. I mean, you could tell it had extra bases written all over it as it jumped off of his stick. Burleson makes the grab. Runner tagging for third. And it throws offline. Safe at third. Here's Glaber Torres. And ball one. Swing and that ball smashed on a line. Burleson makes the grab and that's the inning. But two come across to score in the inning courtesy of this two-run homer. It's now an 8 nothing game. This is Dodgers baseball on the show L.A. Back here in St. Louis, John Chambi and Chris Singleton with you. And leading off the bottom of the fourth, Lars Newtbar. The pitch. That's a little bit low. Clearly down in this ball game, and you can't look at the deficit and try to get it all back in one swing. It's got to come one at bat at a time and even shrink it down smaller, pitch to pitch. Make that guy on the mound work to get you out. 2-0 to Cal. Here it comes. And it's fouled away. The 2-1. Swings through that one. Two balls, two strikes. Inside yeah, three, three and two the count. Got him looking. Couldn't pull the trigger on a fastball at the knees. Juan Yepes. Next up for the Cardinals. 
picked up a base hit to center his first time off. Foul back our way, and that's out of play. Kicks and deals. And a foul ball. Got it by him for the K. Quite the start to this game on the mound. Looking very dangerous to these hitters. Seven punch outs already. So this lineup hasn't had much success trying to figure him out. I'm impressed with what we're seeing here. Kisner at the plate with two away. Swings through that one. He's gotten into a really good rhythm. Set down seven in a row. He just wants to get the baseball and deliver it as quickly as possible. Keep the momentum going. Check swing, no appeal, and it's one and two. <laughs> that pitch wasn't even close, and they still got a check swing out of it. He's going to have to make an adjustment and make it fast. At the belt and fires. Foul ball still, a one and two count. And that's too high. Bows it back with two strikes. The idea was right. Looking to locate that fastball up and in. He just missed his spot a little bit. Two outs. Still two and two after the foul ball. Good battle here. About to be the eighth pitch of the at bat. Next one misses. And the count's full. Wow, this guy's really battling up there as if his run is the game-winning run. I love his tenacity. Swings and misses. Struck him out. One, two, three. Go to Cardinals. And they're on the short end of an 8-0 score. Welcome back. And now the center fielder, James Outman. The wind and the pitch. And that one in the air center field. O'Neill drifts towards it. Makes the grab one down. Austin Barnes steps to the plate for the Dodgers. That one the other way. Over to Goldie. Two up, two down. Up next to the Ahmed Rosario steps to the plate for the Dodgers. Rosario. That one is absolutely belted. And it's a one hopper off the wall. Should be extra bases. And he's in at second with a two out double. Drove that ball nicely, put a great swing on it, and it jumped off his bat. Kind of put it all together there and. He's rewarded with the double. Man in scoring position with two away. And now Chris Taylor. Oh, that's foul. Man on second, two down. Slapped foul. line drive and that's a base hit into center field here's the throw to the plate it's offline and he scores it's nine nothing puts a run on the board and picks up an rbi i could watch base hits like that one all day long and so could every hitting coach in the league just a nice line drive into center field matthew libertor gets the ball now and one thing on him He's been really good this season at keeping the ball in the park. Not an easy guy to take deep.
Taylor, the runner at first with two gone. The Dodgers going with a pinch hitter. Enrique Hernandez, the runner on first with two gone for him. And now the lefty, and it's one and one. Hit hard, base hit. Taylor, round second on his way to third. Throw is high and over his head. He scores all the way from first. A terrible job getting it back to the infield, and it costs them a run. A little more backspin on that instead of the top spin. He's jogging around the bases rather than pulling up at second. Man at second here with two away. At the play, Shohei Otani. That one ripped. And out of here. Shohei Otani goes deep. That's his third home run of the game. And they add to their lead. It's 12-0. He's putting on quite the show at the dish here in this one. And he's just so locked in with this swing. And He's just not missing right now. Three homer game, man, it's so special. And I tell you what, it's a lot of fun watching him pull it off as well. Here's Mookie Betts. That's a ball. Fastball almost got him there. The Dodgers going with a pinch hitter, Teoscar Hernandez. That's hard hit on the line. Brings it in with a nice running grab. And that is that. So remaining in the game defensively, Teoscar Hernandez. He'll be the new right fielder after entering as a pinch hitter. And now, Alec Burleson. The pitch. And first offering is fouled off. You know, these Cardinals, as this game goes on, have to be more disciplined at the plate. Chasing pitches has been a big part of the story. We've seen it quite a bit today. It's been tough for them to make contact at times, and it just doesn't look like they're seeing it very well as a group. And on the mound, you know confidence has to be pretty high with all of the swings and misses. He's had him eaten out of the palm of his hand pretty much all game. Swing and a miss. The velocity blasted it right past him. Looked like he reached back and got a little extra on that one. Triple digits on the miles per hour through the zone. No chance of touching that one. Fought off foul. Strike two. He's been going after these guys consistently, and as a result, he's been able to keep his pitch count low, throwing the ball very well right now. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. That's his second strikeout. Now at 10 Ks with still a few innings left, so expect him to add on to that total. And, you know, pitchers are looking to have a strikeout per inning. I mean, that's excellent work. Uh, the way it looks now, I mean, he's going to have a better rate than that in this one. So really good stuff working on the mound in this one. Slice the other way. That's a base hit. With that fastball, even though it's high velocity, you've got to live on the outer edges. When it's right on a tee, right down the middle, professional hitters are not going to have a problem turning it around. And that one popped to short. Rosario in position. Brings it in. And that is that. The cards leave one. All right, we go to the top half of inning number six 
Max Muncy at the dish. In for a strike. And it's 0 1. A former All Star, 32 years old, and he's driven in eight runs over his last 10 games. There's a swing and a drive. And it's gone. He blasts one out to right, and they boost their lead. It's 13 0. Singy, the ball is jumping off his bat. Yes, it is. Tons of loud contact. Man, it's been impressive. The low 90s fastball, you have to live on the edges and hit your spots. If you don't, you'll get hit hard. Really good swing there. Patient, waited for it. It was like BP all over again. John King into the game. And we all know about his slider. It's just filthy, man. And one of the better ones in the game, I'd say. Spin rate's very high, and it just breaks a ton. Fair ball. Well, that started and ended pretty quickly. No messing around right there. That was maybe even a little off the plate, but no problem getting the barrel to it. Man, he does such a nice job, and that's what you're supposed to do with the pitch in that location. Out, man. Now in the box, comes up empty with a swing there. Blind into right. Newt Bar pulls that one down, and there's one down. Next up, the Dodgers catcher, Austin Barnes. One for two. And first offering is fouled off. Barnes measures 5 feet 10 inches, 185 pounds, and he was a ninth round draft pick back in 2011. Swing and a ball lifted in the air, shallow left field. Burleson pulls it down and he makes the catch. Two down. Just pulled off of it a little bit right there. That front shoulder coming open instead of staying closed. If he does that, he's going to be able to go up the middle the other way with some authority instead of a fly out to left. The other way. That's a base hit. They stop the lead runner at second. Now two on with two outs. Here's the left fielder, Chris Taylor. Good swing out of him last time. Ripped a liner in the center. And first offering is fouled off. Torres over at second. Rosario on at first with two down. Strike two. Oh, two. pitch rip to third over to Goldie they limit the damage here one scores in the inning coming on this solo home run to the bottom of the sixth inning you're dialed into the show back here at Bush Stadium bottom of the Six. And stepping in for the Cardinals, Mason Wynn. Righty reliever out of the pen, Ken Giles. And he's got a nice lead to work with, so he should come in throwing strikes, attacking these hitters. Swing and a miss, and it's not again two. I think he was sitting off speed there. The punch out there, and that's the first out. Well, that at-bat seemed to be over as soon as it started. Three-pitch strikeout. You've got to be better at the plate right there, at least to foul something off, extend that at-bat. And a good fastball to start him off. That's strike one. Chris Paul Goldschmidt has turned into a really good player for a guy who was an eighth-round pick in 2009 at a Texas State. 
many all-star appearances, silver sluggers, and then in 2022, an MVP. Up the middle, and it finds its way through for a hit. So they get a man aboard with a one-out single. Once you get the ball by the pitcher, there's a lot of base hits up the middle, even on ground balls. So a nice job to use that big hole and get himself a hit. Left-hand hitter waits. Ball. Roll to short, could be two. Over to Torres. And it's a double play to end the inning. No runs, one hit, no errors, and no one left. Seventh inning coming up. Dodgers out front, 13 to nothing. Back here in St. Louis. Here's the third baseman, Enrique Hernandez. The wind of the pitch. That one lifted to left. Burleson drifts towards it, puts it away for the out. So now the DH spot, Shohei Otani. To the right side. And a couple of quick outs. Now batter. Two outs, base is empty. Teoscar Hernandez steps to the plate for the Dodgers. That's to third. Can't glove it cleanly. Here comes Max Muncy. Into the outfield, base hit. Throw stops the lead runner at second. Two on and two out. Two consecutive base hits for these guys here. Didn't make quality contact on the ground ball to the pull side, but sometimes it's just a matter of finding the hole in the defense. Here's Glaber Torres. And first offering is fouled off. Up the middle. The flip, they get the force, third out. And welcome back, digging in. On Yepes. So the Dodgers have a new arm on the mound, J.P. Fireisen. He's pitching on two days rest. And first offering is fouled off. And a swing and a miss. Well, you got the hitter already chasing that nasty slider. If you're on the mound, you just want to expand the zone right now. Get a swing and miss and get through this at bat. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And he's down on strikes for the second time today. Here's Andrew Kisner. And that's through there for a strike. Comes up empty on the swing, 0-2 now. Man, he really sells the changeup with that arm action. On the ground to third. Toss to Muncie, two up, two down. Good late bite on that slider, got the hitter out in front, rolled over on it, exactly what it was supposed to do. Burleson, now at the plate as he swings through strike one. That's a strike, and it's 0-2. This guy's pounding the zone. Hitters don't have time to think in between pitches. The pitch. Hey. Caught him looking for the K. And down in order go the Cardinals. Still looking. We go to the end. And at the plate for the Dodgers, James Outman. King back to work. Into center and a base hit.
First pitch swing in, went up there with a the plan to be aggressive. You'll often hear the phrase, short to it, long through it, and that's a great example of it right there. Got the barrel in the hitting zone early, squared it up with the well-timed swing, and came away with a beautiful line drive into center field. The 0-1. And that one fouled off. Nobody out, runner at first. Rolled to short, possible two ball. Uh oh, can't pick it up cleanly, but the throw to first gets him easily, and that's the first out. And next for L.A., Ahmed Rosario. Showed a really nice opposite field approach in his last at bat. Hit weakly on the ground, Lopez. Sends it across it. to first, two down. And up next for Los Angeles, Chris Taylor. That one hammered center field. O'Neill going back, back some more, back some more. Pulls it in on the warning track. Back here at the ballpark, ready for the bottom of the, the eighth. Here's the second baseman, Richie Palacios. Lake Trinan comes on now. Compared to some days, this is a pretty low leverage appearance for him, so he should be fairly free and easy out there. Still have to keep yourself sharp and attack the strike zone. And he deals. Nope, Struggled a little bit in this one. Couple of strikeouts earlier, but doing a much better job in this at bat to get ahead and find a good hitter's count at 2-0. And the righty deals. Oh, that's low. Swing and a miss. And a full count now. Good late sink on that fastball. Out of the hand looks so good. And then by the time it gets in the hitting zone, hard to get the barrel to it. Over to first. Right. One up, one down. Irving Lopez, the next to hit. Liner caught it second. Well, baseball can be cruel, can it? I mean, sometimes it gives and sometimes it takes away. He did everything right on that swing, but he's got nothing to show for it. O'Neill stands in now and watches strike one. Right-handed reliever, and that's down it away. The guy at the plate could recognize slider out of the hand. Didn't stay in the tunnel very long in terms of depth and perception. He knew right away it was an off-speed pitch. Swings through it for the K. Couldn't catch up to the heater. New pitcher for the Cardinals, Andre Palante. The offense will need to be ready for the breaking stuff. He's got a great curveball. Swung on, belted. O'Neill going back, back some more. Still going back. Caught just shy of the wall. Woo. He was all over that first pitch fastball. Just barely missed it. Man, this guy was ready to hit. Fly ball, pretty well struck right field. Newt Bar raging back towards the wall. Back some more. Makes the catch up against the wall. Man, I love that route. The ball was smoked. He knew he had to get back to the track right away. Turned his back on the infield. Got to the spot, turned around, and made a nice catch. Zips it to first, and Hernandez is out. Back here at Bush Stadium, and the batter will be the short. Stop. Mason Wynn, new pitcher for the Dodgers, Caleb Ferguson. Well, he's been hit pretty hard at times this season, as you see with the big ERA. So this is an important outing for him to get on the right track. And a pitch. This one in the air center field. 
Outman pulls it down one away now it's Goldschmidt up to the plate First offering, and it just misses. That's inside. That's inside. Kicks and fires. Out to short. Rosario tosses across the first, and they get Goldschmidt for the out. So two down no now, no and no here is Lars Newtbar. And that's in there for strike one. They say it went. No balls, two strikes. Foul ball, it stays nothing in two. He was a little out front, but did a good job keeping the hands back long enough to foul that pitch off. Next one just misses. Going to count one and two. That turns out to be a really good take right there, but you don't want to end this game with the bat on your shoulder. Just missed the inside corner. Two and two. He's really tightening up his hitting zone with two strikes here. I love it. That misses. Three and two down. Down to their final strike. And there's nope, ball four. Well, he earned his trip to first right there. It's not e easy laying off pitches that just missed the zone like that. And it's a real discipline as well. He's put a lot of work into that aspect of his game, and it paid off right there. Yep, it's in the box with two gone. And take takes a look at a called strike. New pitcher on now, Nestor Cortez Jr. He pitched yesterday and we'll see him once again. Now pitching for Los Angeles, number 65, Nestor Cortez Jr. The 0 2. Good job to fight that one off. Newt Bar off of first with two away. Right side, and that's just foul. And takes low for ball one. One ball, two strikes. Just misses with that one. Sometimes you got to fight to get back into an at bat. Take some tough pitches, even out the count. And down on strikes he goes, and that'll do it.
Well, I don't know what they did in the cage day or on the field for batting practice, but when you win by double digits, something is clicking. That batting coach feels pretty good about himself right now, but more so the players. They can't wait for the next one. Come back out, score, and get another W. Final score in this one, 13-0. Dave Roberts and company celebrate in the dugout. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Shambi. We'll see you soon. Time of the ball game, three hours and 35 minutes.